Hey guys, thanks for watching Beyond Science 2, it's Mikey Chen. In the name of progress, human civilization during its period of renaissance began to orient its political and economic philosophies toward the establishment of financial and commercial entities. Since then, these entities have now morphed into the most powerful corporations on the face of the planet. But behind these large corporations and beyond the complicated framework of politics and business, there lies, according to some people, a hidden dominating force that controls the world's political, economic, and military systems. And at the helm of this unnoticeable hegemonic power, there are allegedly five influential families that constructed the current world as we know it, according to their design, and continues to dictate its ways without the notice of the common man. And so, according to some historians, scholars, and many conspiracy theorists, here are five of the most powerful families that control the world today. We'll start with number five, the Rothschild family. The story of the Rothschild family is one of money, and its beginning can be traced back in the 18th century to the rise of the financial genius that was Mayor Amschel Rothschild. From an apprentice at a small bank in Hamburg, Mayor Rothschild rose to become a prominent figure in the international transactions and manipulation of money. Eventually, he installed each of his five sons to be his agents in the five major financial centers of Europe, and their sons were also sent to other financial centers to head new offices. Throughout the 19th century, the Rothschilds were responsible for stabilizing the currencies of major world governments, a role now fulfilled by the International Monetary Fund. While they provided important international service, they also profited heavily from it. At the height of their family's business empire, the Rothschilds' wealth would have been the largest single fortune in world history. However, according to some conspiracy theorists, the Rothschilds, driven by their quest for money, have orchestrated the assassination of U.S. presidents and and created every war since the 1800s in order to finance both sides and profit from such conflicts. Some even claim that the Rothschilds funded the operations of Nazi Germany and caused the Holocaust. There are also those who claim they were the true figures behind the creation of Israel. Since then, it is believed that the Rothschild family has remained at the top of the world's oligarchy system and maintains a powerful and determining influence on the U.S. Federal Reserve and the British financial system. On the number four spot, the Rockefeller family. In the 19th century, John Davidson Rockefeller effectively started to solidify his American empire after buying out several partners who owned Cleveland's largest oil refinery in 1865. Later on, this became the foundation for the formation of the Standard Oil Company of Ohio in 1870, and John D. Rockefeller established a large monopoly on the industry that controlled around 90% of America's pipelines and refineries. However, some historians say that labeling Standard Oil as a monopoly is an understatement, downplaying the covert and savage tactics utilized by John Rockefeller to maintain its control over American oil. In 1911, the Rockefeller's monopolistic oil company was broken up under antitrust legislation, but the family continued to retain a large share of the business and continued to profit from it. According to Forbes, at the time of John D. Rockefeller's death in 1937, his net worth amounted to as much as $340 billion in today's money, around four times more than that of Bill Gates. Since their financial prime in the early 20th century, the family's wealth has dwindled down to an estimated combined net worth of around $11 billion. Nevertheless, the Rockefeller family has been the subject of a wide variety variety of conspiracy theories and has been accused of atrocious acts such as funding the invention of the Zika virus, using their donations to medical charities to promote conventional medicine and crush alternative medicine, orchestrating the assassination of JFK, and for being the hidden force behind the destruction of the World Trade Center during the 9-11 attacks. One prevailing conspiracy theory about the Rockefeller family is their association with the idea of a secret global government called the New World Order. They have been accused of establishing establishing institutions such as the Trilateral Commission and the Bilderberg Group, among other organizations to advance their interests nationally and globally. Number three, the Morgan family. Toward the end of the 19th century, John Pierpont Morgan established the J.P. Morgan & Company, a financial company that has played a prominent role in the economic history of the United States and therefore the whole world as well. Panic swept the nation back in 1893, partially because the flow of the country's surplus gold to foreign nations put the U.S economy in danger. Following his father's footsteps in the banking industry, Morgan seized the opportunity to save the economy by restoring the confidence in the dollar and rescuing the gold standard. To do this, Morgan led a 
syndicate of bankers, which included the Rothschilds, to see U.S. bonds to buy back gold from foreign investors. According to some people, that gold and bond exchange allowed Morgan to control the U.S. gold supply, which in turn gave him the flexibility to finance the creation of U.S. steel and gain control of the emerging electric light industry by forming General Electric. Morgan accomplished these feats by employing unethical and cutthroat business practices, which involved the elimination of competition, slashing jobs and reducing wages, and neglecting workplace safety, a greedy process which became known as Morganization. There are also those who believe that America entered World War I not for political and policy concerns, but for the profits of the banking and munitions industry. Apparently, U.S. banks, including Morgan's, lent over a hundred times as much money to allied countries than they had to their adversaries. In order to protect those loans and their interests, financiers like Morgan urged the Wilson administration to aid their allies by participating in the war. At present, rumors suggest a far too comfortable relationship between what is now the leading global financial service firm, J.P. Morgan Chase & Company, and the U.S. Federal Reserve. There is even a theory that a tunnel exists connecting the two gold vaults of the New York Fed and JPM. And there's also allegations that the Morgan family is heavily involved with war profiteering. On the second spot, the DuPont family. The DuPont family is an American family descended from Pierre Simeon Dupont de Nemours and has been one of the richest families in the country. Pierre Samuel Dupont de Nemours was a French economist who immigrated from France in 1800 to the United States with his sons Victor Marie Dupont and Eleanor Henri Dupont. Eleanor Henri Dupont initially established E.I. Dupont de Nemours and Company, commonly referred to as Dupont, as a gunpowder manufacturer which eventually became a chemical empire responsible for ubiquitous inventions such as nylon, teflon, and kevlar and many other polymers. Dupont became the largest supplier of gunpowder to the U.S. military in the 1800s, and soon enough, it began manufacturing dynamite in incredible proportions. However, its monopoly on the industry was broken up under the Sherman Antitrust Act. But just like J.P. Morgan, the Dupont family still managed to maintain dominance over the munitions industry, having supplied nearly 40% of all munitions used by Allied forces during the First World War. Dupont also played a large role in the development of the Manhattan Project and the production of the first atomic bomb during the Second World War. World War, designing, building, and operating the Hanford Plutonium Production Plant in Washington. DuPont also reportedly produced as much as 4.5 billion pounds of military explosives used over the course of that war. Then in 1950, DuPont agreed to build the Savannah River Plant in South Carolina in cooperation with the effort to create a hydrogen bomb. Rumors still circulate about DuPont's involvement in the prohibition of hemp and cannabis in 1937 to protect its breakthrough patent for nylon and its process of using wood pulp to make paper. Since both products could effectively be replaced by hemp, some argued that it would have severely limited DuPont's massive profit if it wasn't prohibited. And finally, to complete this list, taking the top spot is the Bush family. The Bush family is considered as among the newest family to join the world elite and begin its legacy with Prescott Sheldon Bush, a U.S. banker and senator who was accused of obscenely profiting from the Second World War and for establishing businesses with large corporations that financed Adolf Hitler's government. Documents declassified in 2003 revealed that Yale Skull and Bone Society member Prescott Sheldon Bush, the father of U.S. President George H.W. Bush, and the grandfather of President George W. Bush could have been prosecuted for providing aid and comfort to the country's enemy by engaging in nefarious business dealings prior, during, and after World War II. As reported by The Guardian back in 2004, the National Archives documents show that even after America had entered the war and when there was already significant information about the Nazis' plans and policies, Prescott Bush worked for and profited from companies closely involved with the very German businesses that financed Hitler's rise to power. Prescott's descendants have not escaped scrutiny as well, having been accused of utilizing their power during their stints as the commander-in-chief of the United States to profit from the wars the countries participated in. Conspiracy theorists even went as far as to claim that George W. Bush knew of the 9-11 World Trade Center attacks and used it to justify a preemptive attack on a nation that has not attacked the U.S. in the name of a much broader war against terrorism. To many conspiracy theorists, these five powerful families are the puppet masters that hold the strings of the highest echelons of society. With their immense wealth, unlimited resources, and far-reaching influence, these families have been rumored to even have occult satanic connections, a hidden network in the gold trade.
trade and a secret plan to establish a new world order. Whether these accusations indeed have a single grain of truth in them or not have yet to be either summarily proven or thoroughly debunked. Nevertheless, it, it cannot be denied that there is a clear socioeconomic disparity that places a great divide between the citizens of the world and an overall political and economic climate that favors the wants of the select few over the needs of the many. So let me turn the question over to you guys. What do you think? Do you believe that there are select families in the world that are basically controlling the entire humankind? And if so, are these five families it? Or do you think there are more hidden within the shadows? All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. I'll see you later.